Welcome to Spinsterhood. My name's Jill and I'll be your guide. And the forecast is calling for a polar vortex, which will bring with it Arctic air. And that sounds downright freezing. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to show you how to make homemade hot chocolate. You're gonna need one of these. <laughs> It's true that you don't need to be Julia Child to make your own hot chocolate. If you've been making hot chocolate using a packet and water, that just makes me really sad. So the first step to making really easy, delicious hot chocolate at home is your liquid. I'm using oat milk. You can use whatever milk you want. Milk from a cow, milk from an almond, whatever works and floats your boat. Uh, if you're unsure how much milk you need, instead of just eyeballing it in the pan, I like to use the little trick of pouring it in to my mug and seeing basically how much I'm gonna wanna drink later and then measuring it that way. The biggest thing to keep in mind when you're making homemade hot chocolate is to keep the heat on low, medium low to low. You don't wanna go all the way to medium because it will scald the milk, which doesn't taste that good. Or if it's, um, especially if it is cow's milk, it will bubble really fast. And once it bubbles, it's a mess to clean and you get no hot chocolate. So it's just like a lose-lose situation. So medium low to low. Now that the milk is warm, we're gonna add just a little bit of vanilla. I like to measure my vanilla in the cap because I'm lazy and don't wanna wash a measuring spoon later. I just do like a couple drops. We are also going to add a little bit of salt. You need salt because chocolate needs salt, just in general. It really will help. So we're just gonna do, boop a pinch, just a pinch of salt. Uh, we'll let that sit for a little bit. Once those have come together, now we're gonna add our sugar. It's equal parts sugar to cocoa powder. There are just some things in life that uh, shouldn't be healthy. You know, hot chocolate, donuts, alcohol, you know, there's just, there's things that are not designed to be healthy and that's okay. After you've added your sugar and cocoa powder, you wanna make sure to give your milk a really good stir with the whisk so that you break up all the little pieces of the cocoa powder. You want everything to dissolve nicely. At this point, you have hot chocolate. However, I'm making Mexican hot chocolate, and so I'm going to add to my mixture some cinnamon, just a dash, and cayenne pepper. Another dash. Mix it up. It smells so good. It smells so good. I get really excited about hot chocolate. And that's, that's all there is to it. It's that easy to make homemade hot chocolate. It took less than 10 minutes and it's so much better than anything you're gonna buy that comes in a packet. So, you know, give it a try. Uh, you know, I'm sure that there is some way for you to make this uh, healthier with like substitutions. But honestly, I mean, at that point, you're just kind of extracting the joy from it. And you know, where's the fun in that? There isn't any. So no, just, you know, treat yourself. You know, hot chocolate was originally used kind of as a medicine uh, and the traditional recipe does kind of call for cinnamon and cayenne, it gives it that little extra kick and it's a far more um, complex flavor. So I do recommend giving that a try if you've never tried that before. But you know, if you wanna think of it that way, this is, this is medicinal. This is really already a health food, okay? So, you know, you could have it every day if you wanted. Mm -hmm. I did not fully whisk it well, um, because there are still like some little cocoa powder balls. Is that the worst thing? Absolutely not, that's delicious. I just love chocolate. Mm -hmm. Anyway, 
give this a try. Till next time, you stay confident and comforted with your mug full of hot chocolate deliciousness. And I'll see you next time on Spinsterhood. It's so rich. It's so rich. It's so good. <laughs> it's so delicious. I can't stop drinking it. And if you ever doubt the medicinal properties of hot chocolate, just ask yourself how you feel after a cup of hot cocoa. Better, right? Yeah, well, I rest my case. Mmm.